Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, May 27th. It is so good seeing you today. I wanted to remind you on this rather cloudy day, of course, it's going to rain. I watered yesterday, but anyway, I wanted to remind you that tonight at six o'clock, we'll be talking about the Giglio book, Goliath Must Fall. More specifically, we'll be talking about the giant of uh, anger. I'm not sure if all giants look like that, but anyway. Then tonight, after the Giglio book study, we'll be having wackies for our youth. Let me come back to anger. I've been reading and thinking a fair amount about anger lately, probably because of the, of the Giglio study. Hear now the word of the Lord. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26 and 27. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. I want to be very clear about something. In the Bible, we read, in your anger, do not sin. There is nothing wrong with Anger. Anger is just part of who we are. It's part of our emotional, part of our human makeup. Jesus was angry when he went into the temple and chased out the money changers. He was furious. Moses was angry when he came down from the mountain. Quick story for you. When I was in seminary, I had a wonderful professor of Old Testament. He just passed. His name was uh, Patrick Miller. He was probably in his late 60s, early 70s when I had him. He's a specialist on Psalms. And Professor Miller would pray. He was from North Carolina every morning um, as we began class in this deep North Carolina voice. And we were all sitting praying and two of the students came in and Dr. Miller gave, stopped praying, gave them a look. And a friend of mine leaned over and said, oh, that's what Moses looked like when he came down from the mountain. Certainly, Dr. Miller was angry. But again, there's nothing wrong with anger. It's just when you cross that line into sin. When you cross that line into sin, then I think it opens the door for the devil to come in and start building strongholds. Recently, we've all had the opportunity, <laughs> the curse, whatever you may want to say, of watching the news more maybe, or looking at Facebook, or what have you. And some of the posts, some of the things that, that people are saying, yeah, I know they're angry, and that's okay. It's just, it crosses over into sin. And again, I really think that gives the devil a foothold, because when the devil gets in, thanks to that anger, the devil's just going to work. And almost like a, a cyclone, it's just going to get you're just going to get more and more angry and resentful. And quite frankly, you, won't, you may not sleep. You may not sleep well. Or a little thing may, may just set you off. That's one of the little things. One of the things you may want to think about is if little incidents set you off, what's really going on here? If you get on the wrong line at Chick-fil-A and you explode, what's going on? What's really, what's at this cyclone? What's at the bottom of this cyclone? And what you'll find is it's usually an incident that happened that you are angry about, crossed over to something really nasty, and then the devil used it to increase what I'm going to call the cyclone of anger. Again, nothing wrong with anger. Just be sure that it doesn't cross over into the realm of sin, number one. And number two, that you are able to control it. Hope you have a, a, a great week. Let's pray. Gracious and holy Lord, we thank you so much for this day. I pray for Olivia. She 
is preparing for surgery. And I ask, oh God, that you be with all of us. Help restrain our anger. Help our anger not go into sin. And let us be strong and resilient under the guiding and powerful wings of you and the Holy Spirit. We thank you especially for Jesus and for his love for us, his care, and his guidance. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey, have a great day. It is, again, good seeing you. And remember, we are the church. Take care. We are the church.